Good evening and welcome back to Prime of My Life. It is Monday evening, we have made it through the bank holiday, which for us at work was actually quite a quiet day uh, because most of the places that we deal with down in England were closed. So, yeah, that was fun. <clears throat> However, there was a thing. So this evening we are talking about power cuts or lack of power in general. And the reason we're talking about that is there we were this morning in the office, nothing exciting happening, you know, it's a bank holiday so we're not expecting to be too busy and Mandy had some real problems with her computer, it just was not playing the game. And then the internet went down. So we're like, right, okay, so we, you know, stopped it, turned it off, started it again, etc, etc. And eventually it came back. However, while the internet was off, I mean, our phones were off. Obviously, our emails, our system for working um, was all unavailable. And me being the control freak that I am, I don't like that. I like to have backups. So, fine, I thought, right, I'll go and... This morning, again, I had a flat tyre, so I took it along to the garage this morning. So while the internet was down, I phoned the garage on my mobile because I couldn't phone from the work phone because it's an internet phone and went along and picked up my wee van. So while I was out, I thought, right, I'm going to go and put the last of the cash into the post office to put it in my bank account. So I went and did that and the guy standing counting the cash and everything. I was like, what if his internet went down? What if there was no power? Hmm. And it was just a wee fleeting thought, you know, because we'd had so many problems. Then I went up to the chemist to get a prescription, which they found, but found on the computer, but couldn't find on the shelves. So I looked up the text that I got and I'm like, yep, that should be there and it should be this. So after a wee while, they did actually find it. So then I came back down to work, switched the internet back on. Well, the internet had been switched back on by that time. So we're like, right, okay, we can work. I thought, what happens if we have a power cut? Because in days of old, if we had a power cut, we could still use the phone because it was a completely different setup. It didn't need power if you had just a normal landline. If you had one of the ones that was plug in and went you know, and you had phones in different rooms, then you had to go and find your old-fashioned phone and plug it into the phone socket. But you could still phone. And yes, we can still phone just now with our mobiles, as long as they've got charge. So, of course, this started a whole thing going on. And, of course, today as well, there were problems with air traffic control in the UK. There was a problem this morning which basically grounded anything coming in and out. Um, they managed to find out what was wrong and fix it probably about half past three, I think. But by that time, there's many, many thousands of people have been sitting on the tarmac for hours, have been waiting in airports for hours, are by now like 24 hours behind where they should be. So, of course, that added to my little thoughts of, but what happened? Because as I was coming back from work, I had the Radio 4 News on in the car. And they were saying, yep, it was the system that did the flight plans. And because it's so used to being automated, all the planes are done for automated flight plans. So when they have to do it manually, it's so much slower because, you know, the first hour is getting themselves set up, I presume. Um, so it takes them so much longer. And, you know, by the time I'd got to that, I was like, right, okay, so that's, our internet was having problems, computer was having problems, air traffic control's having problems. What happens if we lose the power? Because if we lose the power, we lose the internet. Hmm. And as I say, in days of old, you could still phone. In days of old, many homes still had like coal fires or fires that you could burn wood in or something. And you're like, right, okay. Now, for houses with gas, that's okay as long as your ignition's on. 
because there's some of the gas thingy bulbs that you can't just light a match to start it up if the electric electricity goes you can't ignite your heating so of course by this time i've got wheels going all sorts of different ways in my brain going okay so if we lose power we have like a proper big power cut what are we going to do and it's all very well me saying if you got your power cut basket because mine's, mine's a basket and it's got a blankie and it's got a wind up lamp and it's got a battery powered radio um i've got candles i've got my flasks i've got all that i have that in the basket which is great and it's great for 24 possibly 48 hours of push and as you know i'm not too bad heat wise because i have the wood burner but i also have a color gas stove that's also cast iron so it holds the heat um but that would be say after 24 hours you know you'd be struggling you wouldn't have your phone charged you've got nothing apart from well if you've got a battery radio i have the link is on the website i've put a page on the website with things that i've purchased with links and it's got like my jars for my cannon it's got my dehydrator and it's also got the windy up lamp from mountain warehouse and the radio that i got the battery operated solar panel radio from amazon so they're on there if you want to have a look that is what i've actually bought it's not a promotional thing i bought that those things on that page i bought with my own money um but yeah that's all very well and good for a short power cut what happens if we have a longer one because then your freezers are going to go your fridges are going to be useless you know it's a whole lot of other stuff you have to work at your petrol how do you get petrol for your car if you've got an electric car you're just gubbed because you can't charge a car petrol pumps are not going to work without electricity you know shops you're not going to be able to buy things if they only take card if they don't take cash how are you going to pay for things if their machines are down if they only have scanny checkouty things how are you going to pay for things how are you going to buy anything is the shop even going to open you know it used to be your little small shops even as they got the electronic tills they would still have one of the old ones in the back somewhere or somebody would be there with their pocket you know and their apron and things but now everything's all um barcodes you don't have the little stickers remember you used to have the little stickers you see the person going about with the sticker gun so if you brought something up to the checkout when there was no power they could still just look and go that's 25p that's two pound that's 35p because a little sticker was on the tins or on the packets don't have that anymore you've got barcodes how does a barcode read without electricity so yeah i'm just having this thing that my previous preps for power cuts were quite small compared to what could happen so much as i'll be running my freezers down i'm not going to be running my stockpile down um, the freezers will be getting refreshed once I get some space and tins will be getting replaced tins and packets and everything because I need to know that I'm okay that I'm not I'm not going to need to go shopping if we have a big power cut because I think a big power cut now is going to be very different from the power cuts we had when we were younger and I think it's going to be much more difficult for us to sort things out so me and my wee notepad are going to go and let my brain expand and think of all these different things that could go wrong. Because if I do that many what ifs, I'm about to cover most of them. <laughs> so there you go. That's my thought for today. It's just because I don't often go up to the town to do stuff, I, I was just like, yeah, that's a bit different. What if? And I hate it when people do that. They go, yeah, but what if this? But what if this? Yeah, but what if there is a big power cut and i need to deal with it so i'd rather give myself a few options and try and make sure i'm as best prepared as i can be catch you later